it's time to touch the mission. And it is my pleasure to introduce Bridget Love and Yolanda, Yolanda Robinson. Please, please come to the podium. volunteer, resident ambassador, or mentorship program, or my children participating in summer activities. In the late 1999, I lost my employment. Throughout my employment, I worked with my family support specialist on a continuous basis who assisted me with my employment research. My family support specialist provided me with emotional support and encouraged me that I needed to stay on track. Then the pandemic came and I continued to check in on a weekly basis, and the job market practice was non existent. But I did not lose my hope. I kept my faith in order to get this to the past. As things began to reopen, my family support specialist notified me of an administrative assistant position open with USI, stating that it should be filled by a resident, and that was the first person that she had in mind. <laughs> Even when this being in mind, despite that I worked in the council table, my family support specialist encouraged me to interview because she knew what type of person I was and she knew my work ethic. And she believed I would really adjust. After finding the application process, I received the application and completed the same day. Within the next week, I received the call. My first interview was scheduled. Y'all, I'm so excited. Fast <laughs> forward, my second entry was completed and the sign response, and on to the third one with the final executive vice president. Y'all, believe it or not, I am now the new administrative assistant for the Robinson Joseph. I am a former Foot Home resident. I grew up there and now I am a resident of South City. I would like to thank the lovely women of the Women's Foundation, Ms. Leslie, my getting head teacher. I was one of the first graduates of the getting head program. And I would like to thank my five wonderful children who are named the Fabulous Five. <laughs> who has made me the mother, grandmother, and the woman that I am today. They was my motivation to return to school to receive my education that I have always instilled in them to receive. My life as a teen mom was not easy. By the age of 19, I was a mother too. Being a single mother and going to school was so hard for me. I made the this and I was so far behind, I made the difficult decision to drop out of high school. By the age of 24, I was a mother of five. Through the process of life, I have had many downfall, faced hardships, struggles, challenges, even lost my will to exist sometimes. But I knew that I had a purpose. I attended and graduated from several schools, including a diploma program, a job placement program, trying to make my life better. It was in 2018, while applying for a job at Methodist Hospital, that I was informed that the diploma program that I attended, it no longer exists. And without my high school diploma, I wasn't able to advance. Then I heard about the Excel Center and all the great things they have done for us to transform their lives. I hesitated for a minute, thinking of failure again. I said to myself, Yolanda, what are you waiting for? You deserve so much better. 
So I resigned from my jobs, enrolled in the sales center, began began class during the second term of September 2019. I was doing great until I was sad trade by the pandemic of 2020. But it never crossed my mind to give up because I was almost at the finish line. And here I am today, proud of standing on the stage in this one circle at the age of 45 with my diploma, high school diploma. <laughs> In my second step in journey in life, I will be attending Southwest to major in criminal justice. And then I'm my education at the University of Michigan, and my next step is to receive my master's. Oh.